Hello, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own video game on Scratch. To make video games, you have to learn to program a computer. So you have to speak a language that the computer understands. But not literally, like speak another language. <laughs> this is called a programming language. A programming language sends the right commands to the computer in a way that the computer understands. Scratch is a language that the computer can understand. And it was designed by computer scientists for children like you and me. It's really easy to use and it's a lot of fun. You can make animations, computer programs, and video games using Scratch. So let's download Scratch and start programming. To get Scratch, ask an adult to go to scratch.mit.edu. You can download it or play with it online and see other people's creations. This is the Scratch Editor. We are going to make a catch game. I'm going to show you how to program a sprite. Hey, where did this come from? Not this sprite, a different type of sprite. The best way to learn about Scratch is to play around in Scratch. I learned all this by just playing by myself. A sprite is a moving object that you can program. This cat is the default sprite. We are going to choose the baseball sprite default, but you can choose any sprite you want. Next, we're going to choose a background like this. Let's go with a baseball field. Let's program the baseball to fall from the top of the screen. You can find this in the scripts tab up here. While you have the baseball selected, you click on the scripts tab. So now you send the ball to a random position, but set the vertical position, or Y, to 180, which is the top of the screen. We need to add a when flagpole clicked block to start our game. Next, we're going to make it fall, so we add a forever loop and take away 5 from the Y, or vertical position. So let's test it out to see if it's falling. Ah, nice, it works. Once the ball reaches the bottom of the screen, we need to program it to go back to the top and fall again. So if the Y position is less than, than minus 170, then we reset it to the top of the screen at a random position again. Now let's test it out. Awesome, it works! Now let's add a glove to catch the ball. You don't have to use sprites from the library. You can use one from your own computer or download one. And to make the glove move left and right, we need to make a forever loop. When the right arrow is pressed, we want the glove to move right. So we set the X to change by 10. We're going to add another if statement in the forever loop. If the left arrow is pressed, then change X by minus 10. This will make the glove move left. Let's see if it works. Nice, it's working. Now select the ball sprite and program it to move back to the top when it touches the glove. We're going to add another when green flag clicked block. Then we'll add a forever loop so it'll go on until we stop the game. If the glove sprite is touching the ball sprite, then let's play a pop sound. Then we'll make the ball sprite go to a random position at the top of the screen. So finally, let's catch it. Now we're going to add a scoreboard and a time limit. Let's add a data variable named score. This will be our scoreboard. When the game starts, our score will be set to zero. Then we'll change the score by one when the glove touches the ball. It works, our score is going up. Finally, we can duplicate the ball so it's a little more challenging.
Now we have five baseballs to catch. Now we're going to make a timer. We have to select the glove sprite. Now we go and get when fun pull click. We're going to add a data variable named timer. We're going to set our timer to 20 seconds. Now we're going to put a block wait one second and then change timer by negative one. We want to stop the game if the timer gets to zero. So we're going to put if timer gets to zero, then stop all. We need to check the score to see if we win. Before the stop, we're going to place if score is greater than 35, then the glove will say you win. Else means you didn't reach 35, and the glove will say, sorry, try again. So let's try this out and see if it works. Our timer is working and our score is working, so let's try to win by getting 35. We got 35, and the glove says you win. And there you go, you made your first video game. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos. And hit the bell so your computer will tell you whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun!